Darlington make the short journey up the A1 to Blythe Spartans this evening in what feels like a big game down at the wrong end of the National League North. Steve Watson makes one change from the team defeated at Spennymoor on Saturday as injured Andrew Nelson is replaced by Mitch Curry. John Shaw also makes one change for the home team. Finn Cousin Dawson back in the squad after suspension. He replaces Joe Oliver. Difficult to see who's who, but uh, one thing I would say, Stu, as well, it's a very good surface here at Croft Park as well, isn't it? It looks excellent from up here. Ball played through the middle, chance for Blythe to get forward, but it's uh, bounced off the attacker and Scott Barrow comes and tidies up, finds Callum Griffiths. Griffiths plays the ball forward. Cedric May's going to get the wrong side of his man here. Cedric May moved to the edge of the box, pulls it across. Oh, there's not quite enough on the ball. Curry's going to try and take it off him, but can't. Well, that was a very easy way for Cedric May to get beyond his defender, just couldn't have the correct weight on the pass. Blythe go back to their right back. Bright spot for the Quakers. Yeah, really good start. It's one of those where, uh, to be honest, with you, Blythe looked a little bit shaky at the back there for, to start Ball off with. Ball is spread down the right hand side now for Blythe Spartans. Going to have a chance to take the cross, takes a touch, going to come to the back post, chance for Little. Slices it over the bar. Didn't really look as if he was ever going to get on top of that ball, but it sure still. Darlington with a couple of men around the ball, force it wide. Played inside, Hatfield in close attention but can't get there. Trying to have another go, McGowan drops the ball off. Blythe with a little bit of possession here, just trying to find their way into, into Darlington's box. 30 yards or so from goal, they go back towards the halfway line, then play it down the right-hand side. Trying to find an opportunity for the cross, come back inside to McGowan. McGowan then plays it right to the player tight to the sideline, gets the cross in, lovely touch in the box, great shot, good save, Matty Young. Excellent save from Matty Young, and to be fair, the uh, the forward there for Blythe brought that down really well, and managed to turn and get his shot away, but uh, thankfully Matty Young was equal to it and managed to hold on to it first time. Harry Gardner it was, I think, the player that took it right, lovely smart first touch and a half volley on the turn. Young equal to it though and had good hands to keep hold of it. So Darlington having most of the early running but that's probably the best opportunity so far. Blythe inside to Platt, back to Hatfield. Hatfield sees Cornish in a little pocket of space. Going to have a shot from distance. Oh, oh it's a fantastic wow. goal, Matty <laughs> Cornish. 30 yards from oh goal. My God. He runs down the other end to celebrate with the visiting fans. What a strike, Matty Cornish. That was an absolute worldie, to say the least. It was one of those, from where I was sat, I'm, I'm going to step in there and say that was going top corner from the minute he left his boot. But that was an unbelievable strike. Oh, that is sweet. Alex Mitchell doesn't even dive for that. He just looks and hopes and prays that it's not going to hit the target. But the net billows and Matty Cornish has scored a contender for goal of the season early in this game. I think that, I mean, that was, he just literally picked up that ball, only had one thing on his mind. As soon as he got that ball there, you could see straight away, he shaped up to hit it and absolutely caught it beautifully. Cam Salka couldn't quite just get onto it. Michael Little for Blythe Spartans down this left hand side, comes inside, plays it inside where McGowan picks it up. McGowan pops it off to the right-hand side. Gets the ball back. Left-footed cross into the box. It's a good cross. It's Oh, what, oh, a, what save, a save, Matty Young. Scott Barrow, I think it was, who got a touch on that with his head. Matty Young, top hand, tips it away. Big, big moment. Blythe play the ball back to Michael Little, left-hand side. Blythe having decent possession in this last 10 minutes or so. Played forward. Callum Griffiths fouled his man there. Don't think there was too much doubt about that one, was there? No, I think it was definitely a foul. Just uh, one of those where he just kind of uh, attempted to go sort of round the side of the defender to get the ball. Let's give Devedix a chance to put a decent set piece in here, if he can wrap his left foot around it. Blythe sending the defenders forward. Decent delivery. Good goal bound save. A header there, saved by Young. Fairly comfortable save by. That's because the uh, announcer's got a kind of red stripe on the, <laughs> on the desk in front of him. Has he? Oh, he has as well. Ball uh, inside for Blythe, trying to make some room through a central area. Again, get the ball wide. Ben Headley's going to have to do some cover at left back. Ball wide, right hand side. Comes back to McGowan on the edge of the box. Hatfield faces him up. McGowan tries to shift his feet, brings it onto his right foot, and 
comes off a Blythe player in the Malachi Reeve gets there ahead of Cedric Mayne, but Mayne uses his body strength to pick it up and dinks one over the top trying to get Mitch Curry involved. Curry takes a touch which takes it past his man, but takes him right down into the corner flag. Does keep the ball in though. Ball inside. Finds Salkeld, Salkeld to Griffiths. Griffiths on the corner of the 18-yard box. Invites Salkeld forward. Salkeld's going to get there, plays it off his man for a corner. Did well there, Cam Salkeld, because I thought he'd maybe just put a little too much on that ball, but he actually did really well to uh, to reach it there and, uh, and win the corner. That kind of tells you everything about the kind of game that uh, they're in for in this second half. Cornish takes the corner, sticks it around the edge of the six-yard box. Leeds wins the header. It's headed away from his own goalkeeper by one of those covering defenders. Yeah. Don't need to tell you listening how important the goal at this stage of the game would be for the visitors. Cornish takes, in swinging. Goalkeeper comes, gets a fist, comes to Hatfield, Hatfield shoots. Goalkeeper clears with his feet, it was goal bound. Ball pops back out to Cedric Main in a wide area. Main's going to try and run past his man, gets past his man, gets the cross. Hooked clear, comes to the edge of the box where Hatfield picks it up. Hatfield takes a touch on his left foot, spreads it wide to Matty Cornish. Good start to the second half by the Quakers. Cornish steps over, goes past his man, gets to chance to try and cross it. Brings it back to Platt. Platt has the shot. Oh, took a deflection, just took it wide. Interesting to see whether that one was on target. It's, it was, uh, he caught it really, really well there, did Tom Platt, and just caught the deflection. And Dalek well on top in these opening first few minutes of the second half you won't need me to tell you that that's the Darlington fans behind the goal roaring their team on Cornish is going to take another corner Darlington having a good spell Cornish deep corner this one Mains up at the back post heads it high up into the air go up the keeper comes doesn't make a convincing effort at it ball back with Hatfield brings it onto his right foot drops it off to Ben Headley Headley's going to put the ball in the cross oh Lees was being pulled down there oh, oh the referee's not interested but Lees was having his shirt almost pulled off there was certainly contact there because I couldn't see any reason why Lees didn't win the header. He was in front of the defender. I think that, well, I saw the shirt being tugged, no doubt about that, but... Drop back fairly deep there to come and help out, which he did, which was good to see. Blythe in possession through Michael Little, left-hand side. Plays it to Luke James, edge of the box. He knocks it wide to Evans. Evans has got Headley facing him up, comes inside. Chance for the long-distance shot, but that one is not going to repeat what Matty Cornish did. It's almost 17 minutes into this second half. Blythe Spartans nil, Darlington one. Mitchell receives the ball in his six-yard box and just plays it wide left to that green and white shirt. Again, Reese Evans is in plenty of space going forward for Blythe. Tom Platt's got the head there, snaffled that ball up. Now Mitch um, uh, Cornish is driving forward. Finds the ball to Curry, edge of the box. Curry with a chance to get the shot away. Gets the shot away, just wide. Ball played forward. There's a Tannoy announcement there. He could be speaking any language under the sun for all I'd be able to tell you what he said there. Headley plays the ball forward. Cedric Main sniffing around as if he could get beyond his man there but couldn't get on it ball popped forward though and Ben Headley picks it up comes inside and then finds the sideways pass to Callum Griffiths on the opposite side Griffiths is going to have a little bit of space to space, move forward yeah. here tries to find Salkel Griffiths then slides into the challenge Salkel's inside the box with a chance to shoot it's Cam in. Salkel makes it too all oh, credit to Callum Griffiths there ball pops to Salkel drives it into the corner off they go to celebrate in front of that packed army of away fans and that hopefully now feels a lot more comfortable. But that space just opened up there for Callum Griffiths. A yellow card there for one of the Blythe players. For I think they're trying to say that was a foul, but I don't think it was no, from Griffiths. Griffiths all, got the ball, he slid in, he was just more aggressive. Yeah, he just wanted it more. Just wanted it more. It just opened up in front of him. Ball eventually ended up at Cam Salkeld, who managed to hold it up and get his shot away. Blythe really trying to get back in this game with all sorts of urgency. Cedric Maines pressing a back pass, almost forces the mistake. Reeves got the ball under his feet, comes to Cedric Main. Rain drops it off to Cornish. Cornish, man in the box. Can he get the shot away? Cornish drives it across, stands on the ball. Oh, the referee's not giving the penalty. I don't think it was. There's a shout for the penalty, but I think he just stood on I the ball. He, didn't I was going to say, I think a combination of he, whether he slipped or stood on the ball, but I uh, don't think it was a penalty. Finds Zaseba. Back to Evans, plays it through. 
Hatfield scampering after the ball, can't quite get a touch on it. Fly player into the box. Great save, Matty Young over the top. Throw in far side. Throw in taken, finds Main. Main just keeps the ball in at the byline. Drops it back off. Chance for Rivers. Rivers with a shot. Off the goal line. Comes back to Rivers. Cleared off the line. That would have been it. Great bit of defending there by Lees. That's got to be a free kick, surely. Surely. Surely that's got to be a free kick. The referee hasn't given it, but Darlington win the ball back anyway. Finds Salkeld. Nice little bit of play from Lindley since he's came on. Nice and neat and tidy. Darlington enjoying some possession in Blythe Spartans half here. So yeah, that's not a bad way to make your introduction into the side, is it? Less than 90 seconds of normal time left. Pruss, I would have thought, three or four added, maybe. Ball played, and uh, Gibson gets his foot to it and clears it back. It's going to go behind, actually. It's a sliced clearance that's going to go behind for a blind Spartans corner, sending everybody forward for this. Important for Darlington to just keep the door closed. It's going to be a left-footed delivery. Three Blythe attackers in and around Matty Young. Just stuck it right under there, it's cleared, first tempt, and then it's behind, actually headed behind for another corner. Referee says corner. Another corner left-hand side, it's going to be taken left-footed. 30 seconds of normal time remain, and it's just stuck in the six-yard box. Oh, it's what a oh. save, Young. Young punches it away, unbelievable save from Young. Ball still bobbling about, put in at the next attempt, though. Blythe Spartans have got one back through uh, Xander Saziba. Chalks off what was an outstanding piece of goalkeeping by Matty it was. Young. We're just going to say absolute point blank save from Matty Young again, um, and you can see he's disappointed there at conceding, and it's going to uh, ride on the end of right at the end of the 90th minute. Well, you'll not see many better saves, point blank. But Darling were just a little bit slow. He couldn't quite get the distance on the punch. One minute and ten seconds of the five left. We might get a little bit more because of when the goal was. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Blythe Spartans fans urging their team forward they're just going to bomb the ball forward and see if they can get after some scraps much more direct from Blythe in these last few minutes Ben Headley's got some defending to do on the far side up against the seeker Blythe throw taken quickly oh try to ease it out come all the way across chance for Blythe all the way across headed goal bound cleared off the line Darlington had the chance to ease it out of play and they didn't do it almost architects of their own downfall there it's a late corner for Blythe Spartans my goodness I I must Take admit, I did, thought, I did thought, think that was in there for a second. 30 seconds to go, corner from the left-hand side, same place the equaliser came from a moment ago, ball just into the post, attacked, can Darling clear it? Not yet, not yet, cleared off the line, can Darling clear their lines? Little bit of contact in the box, referee waves it away, 20 seconds to go, ball cleared over the halfway line. Goalkeeper's up on the halfway line, he's just going to stick it back in the mixer, straight ball, going to go all the way out. all the way out. Oh, I thought Young, Young's uh, dropped yeah. on that. I thought he might have let that go behind for the goal yeah, kick, but I he's chosen he was, to keep yeah. it in. I thought he was bound to let that go oh, out. Stick with us on Darlow Fans Radio. Darlington have had to do some defending in this last few minutes. I'll be honest, I can't quite describe what's happened in the last 30 seconds there, but Blythe have had two great chances there to, to get an equaliser. Referee blows the full-time whistle. Enormous three points for Darlington tonight at Croft Park. Unbelievable, unbelievable scenes here at Croft Park. Darlington have won on the road at a relegate, what you would have to say now must be classed as a relegation rival. The Darlington fans behind the goal are ecstatic. A hard work and performance had to hang on at the end. Keith, sum that one up. <laughs> well, to be honest, five minutes ago we were sitting comfortable at 2 0, looking to just see the game out, and then the goal probably pretty much came from, came from nothing, came from nowhere, just from a corner. And then uh, all of a sudden, then it was it was a nervy last few minutes to say the least. And uh, Steve Watson's going over there just now, applauding all of the Darlington travelling fans, who are absolutely you can see now they're absolutely delighted that the full-time whistle has gone. And there's a few.